All right, here we are on the first day of demolition. It's definitely pulled the block away from demoing, starting with the block. A few concerns on that the block is getting close to the neighbor's tree there on the line. Certainly our tree. And that it's definitely a challenge with increasing the damage to yard and breaking up the block, kind of leading to more rubble. But it is demolition. We'll film more later. All right, here's day one of uh, demolition. It started with the block. You can see how undermined the uh, the concrete was, because I, I I think that that dirt that's missing is part of what was uh, water getting behind it. A particular concern today was this uh, drainage pipe. We've now added the stakes, but this three and a half foot section that's now sitting up on top of the wall was damaged by the demolition crew, so that pipe will need to be replaced. And they worked on this side today. I'll go over and take a picture of what remains. Okay, here's the part of the wall that's been finished. Here is the part of the wall that still remains. We'll have to confirm that they're coming back to take this down. Not sure why they didn't finish the job today. They were only here about two and a half hours. Okay, that's today's wrap. Okay, here we are on day two of the demolition and there's good news and bad news. The good news is there's progress. You can see that all of the block has been removed from the side walls. We'll take a closer look at this nice uh, undermining chasm under where the block was. There's the side walls are gone and all of the block is piled up as rubble on the far side. So far this is good news. I guess the bad news is that they are doing quite a number on our what used to be our yard. Um, and ah, the other bad news is they didn't have a dump truck today. Right. Because the dump truck was supposed to come from Asheville but it was an older truck and the guy didn't want to drive over the pass. Over the summit. So they're having to do it in small loads and they hoped and intended to get all of the rubble cleared away including the concrete today but now it's going to be on Monday and they're probably going to do small loads. Um, so that's the unfortunate part, but we have progress. We'll get up closer and have some closer views. Okay, closer up view to this corner, the undermined corner. They seem to have completely destroyed the uh, drain pipe from the downspouts on the carport, so they're going to have to replace those. They've pulled away the block, and again, we've got a kind of a closer view of the, the chasm. And what were you saying, Don, that the block wasn't... I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why it's looking like that. Yeah. It's obviously they've, they've torn the, the edge right. of this concrete out. Mm -hmm. It used to come out straight. That's right. It came straight across. From that, mm -hmm. from that gutter point, it came straight out mm -hmm. to the block wall that was here. And uh, as, they did, as they dismantled the block wall, they've ripped off this concrete. Mm -hmm. Now, all that concrete is going away anyway. Right. So I'm not too... Yeah, we're not unhappy. It was a completely botched retaining right. wall anyway, so no surprise that right. there's already a cavity forming. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, let's go to the other side. Okay. Okay, so here we are with our pile of rubble. All the block. I just consider this such a waste. I figure these are probably ten dollars per block. So that's my estimation. And as you can see, many of them are in good shape, but they're all just being thrown away. The company said no, they just want to get the demo done. I think they actually had an expectation that 
a properly laid wall would have some cement between the blocks, which there, there was no cement between these blocks. So to me, even though they're heavy, $10 a block would have been well worth the manpower to try to salvage and reuse these blocks. But not at this point, they're just rubble. Okay, this wall, this side looks a lot like it did yesterday. I think yesterday I was thinking that the undermining was um, due to poor construction, but I think it's just as they've pulled the block away, they've tried to make sure that there's a slope to somewhat hold up the concrete. We had showed you the um, culvert that was damaged yesterday, and I'll pan over to this other side to show you the uh, replacement culvert. So they went to the pipe store today, pipe and supply store, and got the new piece of culvert to attach. So all is well, and that is it for a Friday. Um, I'll be back on Monday with some sort of dump situation, and it's all supposed to come out between Monday and Tuesday. This is actually the same crew that did the bad job, is now in charge of getting rid of the bad job that they did, and after this, this, this group is gone, and we're on to the next, um, I think he said his name is Stephen. So, great plans to see what Stephen does next week. That's the crew from Atlanta to Thursday build... Thursday and Friday. Next Thursday and Friday to build the wall and then and build... And to lay the concrete. Yep. And then the concrete the week later. Yep. All right. That's it for today.